Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the full Easter egg on Shangri-La. This is a four player Easter egg. And if you go to my website, you can click on this picture here. It's going to take you to the visual quick guide. In this video, I'm going to do a speed tutorial on the steps and go into a little bit more detail. And I'll have this video linked right below this graphic. If you want to check out this website and the visual guide, go to glitchingqueen.com. There is a section up at the top for tutorials and it will take you to this page. For the Shangri-La main Easter egg, you will need four players. And the first thing you're going to have to do is go to the power room and turn on these two power switches. The next step is to turn on the eclipse mode. You'll have to go to spawn and this will take all four players to push these stones in at the same time. I'm using mods here so it's allowing me to do it on solo. For every step of the main easter egg you have to be in eclipse mode and this thing is timed so if you run out of eclipse mode you're gonna have to go turn it back on and some steps require you to do all the steps within one eclipse mode. The next step is to come over here in this area and push on this stone. It's gonna make these stones come up out of the ground. Now there's gonna be 12 on this side and 12 over there by the rope bridge. When you hover over them, you can see the symbol that pops up. You need to have another player over on the rope bridge side looking for symbols as well. And when you guys find matching symbols, you're gonna have to step on them and start to eliminate these stones. And yeah, you're definitely gonna have to have somebody with a mic and be able to talk and communicate through this part. This part right here is just to remind you that yeah, you have to go into eclipse mode before every step and you'll have to have four players to push in each of these stones at the same time to turn it on. For this next step, you wanna have three players at the bottom of this waterfall and then have one player slide down to meet them. And then when y'all all get there, it's gonna play an audio clip and it's also gonna trigger a crystal to spawn above where the waterfall entrance is. Now you'll have to get the shrink ray or baby maker or you know there's an official name for this gun out of the mystery box and throw some type of explosive or shoot this crystal down with a ray gun now use the shrink ray to shrink the crystal and melee it towards the water slide it's going to go down the water slide go up a chute and land in a holder on top of spawn now head to this tunnel that's toward power and turn this valve four times once you do that there's going to be a gas leak that starts and then you want to get a napalm zombie and walk him through this tunnel all the way to the power room. There's gas leaks going through this area and once he walks by them, he's gonna set them on fire. And once you have that completed, you can run back over to where you turn that valve and pull a lever. Now you wanna pick up the claymores in the power room and head back to the tunnel on the other side of the map. There are gonna be four holes in the wall that you need to explode these claymores with zombies and it's gonna fill these four holes. You will have to do this in one eclipse mode, so be aware of that once you place down the claymores and fill up these four holes with the spikes from the claymores you want to run over there in the waterfall area and push a brick it's going to make the waterfall trigger and you'll be done with this step the next step is to melee these stones that are around the map there are 12 of them and you have to do this in one eclipse mode there's one stone right here in the spawn and then one behind it and there's seven total in this like upper spawn area. I'll speed this up for you guys and show you all the locations. There's another stone there, one in that spike hallway, one right there, another by the gong. Then you can drop down in the power room. There's going to be a tile on the left side of one of the power switches. Then just walk over here, melee that one right there. And then there's one right around the corner. The last two are located around the mud pit area. So I just went this direction and you can melee that one right there. And then there's another one at the entrance of the waterfall on the wall right there. The next step is to throw a grenade at these sticks that are kind of shaped like a teepee. And it's over here by the entrance of the minecart. So just, you know, throw a grenade at it. It'll explode and that step will be done. Another thing you're gonna need to do is pack a punch the shrink ray to do some of these steps. And it will require all four players to stand on four different stones that are scattered throughout the map and I've got that in the chart. Once you push down on these stones it's going to open up this walkway and you can run up there and pack a punch. The next step is to go into the mud pit and turn these dials that are on the wall. Now this is timed and you don't have a lot of time to do this and the symbols that you're going to need to know are at the bottom. This one right here is going to have three dots. This one is going to have four dots. The next one I go to has like a C, a line, and a dot. And the last one I do has just a dot. And again, make sure these tiles are up at the top and you'll know you'll have these in the right position. Next step is to melee these gongs. There are eight gongs around the map. They're gonna be just in the upper area and you have to find the four gongs that will trigger these crystals to glow yellow. To know which four gongs are correct, you wanna melee them. And if the crystals don't do anything, then it's the correct gong. But if it glows red, then that is not the correct gong. Right here, you can see that I got all the correct ones. And as I was doing them, it wasn't turning any color. So I knew 
it was correct. And when I got the last one, the fourth one that was right, then they started to glow yellow. This next step can be tricky and you have to use the shrink ray to shoot dynamite off of one of these crystals and you have to catch it in midair. If you don't catch it in midair, you're gonna have to start all over, you know, go melee the gongs again and then try to shoot and catch the dynamite. And you have to do this all in one eclipse mode. You'll know when you've caught the dynamite because it's gonna be on the bottom screen right there on the right and your player character is gonna say, hey, I caught it. Now use the shrink ray and shoot the crystal that is above the mud pit. That is going to send some beams over to this meteor on top of Pack-a-Punch and shrink it. Now you can walk up to the Pack-a-Punch area and hold X or square on this wall to place the dynamite. The next step is the only step that doesn't need to be done in the eclipse mode and make sure you have the Pack-a-Punch open again and then you're gonna run up there and the wall's gonna be open. There's gonna be a meteor for you to pick up and the person that picks it up will get all perks. After this, the Easter egg will be complete, but I hope this helped you guys out and thanks for watching.